Let me be very clear before this video begins. Before you all go down to the comments, I'm not going after Zach about what happened here. I'm going after Discord, the platform. Right, starting off, what exactly happened? Well, here's what happened. So, a few days ago, Zach released a video. His Red Magic 6 teardown video. And it's a great video. I highly recommend you check it out. But, in that video, he said it was sponsored by Discord. He'll be doing a sponsored Discord stage, Clubhouse. And that's essentially what it is, you know? He set up a server and he left a link to it in a pinned comment in the video. As soon as the video goes live, a bunch of people start joining in. I think I was around number 18 to join the server or something. What didn't occur to us, the people who had been there just at the start, was for one, there was no rules set up. There was no verification set up. There was no bots on the server to prevent spamming or anything like that. And there was no real, there was no clear moderators. That should have been a bright red flag, but it wasn't. Fast forward a few minutes later, maybe five minutes later, we start seeing something here. Someone st started tagging everyone, the whole at everyone command. That is normally used by administrators or people who want to notify server members. Only moderators or server administrators use that or should have permission for that. However, it was enabled on the server. That should have been a bright red flag for what was about to happen, but it wasn't. The spamming then began. The spamming began to the point where it was literally unavoidable. Like you had to turn off all notifications on your phone and shut down your laptop in case you had Discord on it. It was insane. The ratio stars then came out NSFW content was there and it was just a whole <laughs> show. Now, that's what happened. Then myself and a few other people took to Twitter to uh, to explain the situation to and tag Zach in case, you know, for whatever reason he didn't see it. There was no slow mode enabled in the chat, so it was a complete disaster. And it kept on going until 14 minutes. It kept on going for 14 minutes until it stopped. Until the chat was actually deleted. That is too long. Now I want to get into the part where I'm talking about why Discord should be liable for this. Or why it should be held liable, if in the case it should be. Yes, Discord sponsored this. Discord said, look, we want you to do a sponsored stage to showcase our new feature, to get your audience engaged because Discord's a great way to engage with your audience, which is fine. I'm okay with that. I'm fine with companies sponsoring people. What I'm not okay with is, now we don't know this, but Zach probably wasn't experienced in creating Discord servers because this was literally a bare bones server and there was no moderation, no nothing set up. It was literally just a Discord stages, a chat set up, a voice chat, and a general chat. There was a rules tab, nothing in there. So, what should have happened to prevent this issue? Well, Discord should have gone to Zach. He should have said, they should have said, okay, are you comfortable setting up this server? Do you need help? And if he wasn't experienced, they could have said, all right, look, we'll, we'll make the server for you. You just have to join the server and will set you up as the owner, transfer all that stuff over, whatever. They could have set up all the stuff he needed, no problem. But they didn't, as far as we know. There was no moderation set up. People should have been banned that weren't. There was probably underage people in that server that were experiencing this NSFW stuff, which is now okay. It's now okay that this happened. It's now okay that this happened for 14 minutes. It's especially now okay that it happened on a sponsored server. This is the part that kills me. It's sponsored. So Discord could have very easily set a server up for Zach if he wasn't comfortable with it. Now we don't know that he wasn't. But let's say for example he was. Let's say for example he was inexperienced with the whole platform. This clearly isn't okay. Discord should be held responsible for this because they're the ones who sponsored it. They're the ones who should have been there to set up the server, they should have made sure that it was all set up before the link went out. This server wasn't set up properly. It wasn't 
done anything properly. It wasn't even a server logo on it, like an icon, nothing. So before you rage in the comments saying that I'm going after Jerry Everything Zach, I'm not. What I am doing though is I'm going after Discord to make sure they account for this kind of thing in the future. This reflects really poorly on a lot of people's brands experiences with their first experience of the brand. People who might have just set up an account specifically for them. And yet, this. So to say that it's not okay is an understatement. And that's why I am, um, you yeah, know, that's why I'm really pissed off about this. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, like the video. If you, if you subscribe, if you want to see more content from me, comment down below or join my own Discord. Link in the video description where I can assure you we do have moderation and it isn't sponsored by Discord. Okay, I'll see you next time.